We made it to Le Havre and I have found a couple of legends that have a combined total of 280 caps. It's these two. You ready? Let's go. Okay, now I don't want to use the word veterans, but you, <laughs> Kaz, your face there. But I looked you, at you and you're, you said You're that. the two most experienced players though, right? Yeah, I think so, aren't we? But then I'm probably the most immature one. Do you think? On the whole squad, so. No, you're not. <laughs> I think she I is. am, I think I am. <laughs> Do you? But yeah, we'll, we'll take experienced over veterans, won't we? Yeah, there you go, it's a nice word, isn't it? You've both been to four World Cups, which is amazing. How does this one compare so far? Um, yeah, it's been brilliant so far. I think, obviously, the support around the tournament. Um, I feel very lucky to have been to the tournaments that I've, I've been at. The, the first one, 2007 in China, that was just fantastic. Yeah. Incredible support again in the stadiums that were played at. So, yeah, it's, um, it's just quite, I don't know, I can't, I can't believe it. When people say four World Cups, yeah, I actually can't believe right. it. So, yeah. I don't know how you feel, Kaz. I feel old. <laughs> no, no. I do feel old. No, it's, I, I think it's just gone so quick. It, I think it's just been like tumbleweed. We've just yeah. gone from one thing to a next to a next and never really thought about it, really. We've just kept going, haven't we? And been yeah. like a steam train and just gone, gone, gone with it. And I think it'll only be when we kind of finish from it, we'll go, wow, how much did we do? And, yeah. and, and really reflect on all of them. But... All have been all of them have been amazing. Does this feel like the biggest one? Because I mean, you kind of just touched upon it, but the amount of media attention and support back home. I mean, it's it's a lot bigger this time around, right? Yeah, I think it does definitely in that sense. I think obviously us all being full time, the way that the league's gone, the amount of support now on social media. Um, before we came here, when we had that media day, the amount of journalists yeah. that turned up and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I've kind of tried to keep myself off Twitter and everything because you don't want to get kind of caught up in it all yeah. um, because you just want to focus on the football and we know that we're here to obviously play well and, and win games. But yeah, the support's fantastic and just to see how many people are actually interested in our games and I think wasn't there over 6 million yeah, watched yeah, the, the game? Yeah, the highest by 2 million, I yeah. think, the highest record. And that's, yeah. that's mental. Um, I think usually I'm sat at home watching Coronation Street. <laughs> I, I don't know how many viewers that gets, but I'd like to do a bit of a comparison. Uh, obviously you won the opening game how big of a relief was that I think it was good just to get that first one out of the way I think from again being in the four that we've been in the first one is always the you don't know where you're at you don't know how you feel you don't know what the opposition are like the crowds the it's just important to get the first one out of the way in terms of anxiety really yeah, yeah. and then once that's out of the way then you've got the momentum and the rhythm then to, to keep going and I always think that the first one is definitely the hardest and mm -hmm. we have to give credit to the group because I don't think we've won our opening game in the World Cup in I, not that I can remember anyway we, so to, to get the three points and against Scotland as well and we're such a young group I think we had six or seven first time uh, yeah. debuts at a World Cup which mm -hmm. is incredible um, and how they dealt with the occasion was brilliant. So I think it was uh, overall a great start and again against a really tough opposition and yeah. a massive rival, you know, England, Scotland. So, you know, I think it, it couldn't have gone any better really in three points. Yeah, and Jill, what were your thoughts on the game itself looking back and the team performance as a whole? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was difficult going into it. I've, I've got a couple of friends that I, I train with every single day and Kaz Weir, um, Jennifer Beatty, Claire Emsley and obviously we knew there was so much surrounding this game and even was standing side by side ready to go out the biggest game ever, England v Scotland and I'm standing next to one of my best mates yeah. um, in Jennifer Beatty and I just, I was like, I can't not like <laughs> high five her. So I just kind of went like that a lot because I was just like, yeah, it was yeah, so, yeah. so awkward. But yeah, I think um, going into the game was, was definitely probably a bit awkward in that sense. But I think yeah, once you're out there, I've said before, I, I wish I was good enough to know who I was playing up against. I just see that ball, see a different colour shirt and just go for it. So I think once we were in the game, it was all right. But yeah, as Kaz said, to get the three points, I woke up that mm -hmm. morning and I, I said to myself, as long as we go to bed tonight and we've got three points, I'll be happy no matter how we get the win um, and obviously we did it so I was pleased. Of course and the focus is now on Argentina and I mean they'll be thrilled with the result yesterday against Japan they've kind of blown the group wide open haven't they? 
Yeah, we we'll watched bits of the game, didn't we? A few of us had it on our phones because yeah. we were travelling back. We had a little bit of a delay, so we we're watching it. But yeah, I was really impressed by them. And you scored your first international goal against Argentina. Yeah, I did actually. Is that a I did. Cup, you know, yeah, yeah World Cup 2007. <clears throat> uh, I went in for a tackle 30 yards out. Somehow won the ball and it went in bottom corner. <laughs> Will you, will you be expecting more of the same from you on Friday? Oh, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll have to see. I was a lot younger then. I think I had more power in my legs. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it was just it was just great to be at a World Cup playing yeah. against Argentina. And I think we actually won 6-1 that day. But, obviously, we're definitely expecting a much more closer contest come Friday. For sure. Right, now, obviously, there are quite a lot of younger players in the squad. What are they like? Are they quite mischievous? We saw the video yesterday of Nikita in the ice bath, chucking out the ice cubes. Yeah, they are funny. They keep us going, good energy. And... I don't understand them sometimes with their lingo. Oh, OK, like their banter. I'm too old yeah. for some it now. Words no, I had some words, but they were saying some at lunch. What was they some... said something like they were gassed the other day, and I was like, God, oh, no. do, do you need help? But I think it means... I think <laughs> it means that you... I think it means that you're, like, being funny or something. Hello, we really need you here right now. Oh, oh my god, too. So, yeah, we need to get a little book or yeah, something. Yeah, what every little word Everyone's means. learning French phrases and we're learning, like, under 18 <laughs> phrases. I'll try and get that sorted for you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we weren't the only ones who travelled to Le Havre yesterday. Let's see how the team got on. Here's Leah Williamson with the Vlog Squad. Let's go. Yeah. In the airport, what we found? Nikita Paris, and Ellen safe to say that that journey was a little bit better than ours we went 15 hours in this car oh, wow is it even a real car yes jill oh, okay. it, it is okay. a real car it is a real car honestly we were so tired right have you guys seen this video on twitter i'll let you watch it first yes i have actually have you seen it no <laughs> Do I get into the whole thing or just the trials? The whole oh. thing. Yes! <laughs> what? So I don't need to do a trial? No. How amazing, Bri. <laughs> oh, Kaz is going to start crying. I know. Aren't you? So that is Brianna oh. finding out that she got into the Southampton Under 10s Academy. Oh, How cute is that? I mean, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Inspiring the next generation. Yeah, I think we've had a, a few videos where kids are actually reduced to tears and then you realise kind of how much it means to them. But yeah, I seen that video. I actually replied saying congratulations. Um, Kaz, you obviously missed the video. What, what were you doing? <laughs> well, Not on social media. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair play. Well, I thought that we could surprise her and her friend Phoebe, who also got into the academy. Oh, so brilliant. we can give them a call if you're up Are for it. Are we going back to Southampton? Sure. Okay. Yeah. In that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> right, so we've got Brianna and Phoebe here. Hey, girls. Hello. Hi. Uh, I've got a little surprise for you. Hold on. Okay. Hello, Brianna. Hi, Phoebe. Hello, how are you both? <laughs> Congratulations on your um, call up for the academy. Are you excited? Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> Have you been watching the World Cup? Yeah. Who's your, been your favourite player so far? This one. Apart <laughs> from me and Jill. Apart from me and Jill. <laughs> okay. Apart from you two, it'd probably be Nikita Paris. Oh, that's a good Aww. one. That's a good one. And then are you looking forward to the next game that we're playing? Yeah. What do you think the score will be? Um, uh, 3-0. To England, to I hope. England. <laughs> to England. Yeah, 3-0 to England. What position do you both play? I play centre mid. Oh. I play wing. Oh, centre mid and wing. Have we got competition? Do we, <laughs> yeah. to, do we need to be worrying about our places in the England team? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because yeah. we're getting old now, so we need some young cubs to come and take our places. Okay, so keep working hard. 
Keep believing okay. in your dreams, and I'm sure one day you can be here as well. Okay, girls? Okay. Good luck with everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Now get back to school yeah. because school is very important. Okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, girls. Bye. 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 Bye, girls. Thank you so much. See you later. Oh, they're so cute. They that was lovely, cute. wasn't it? All right, Jill, Mar Maradona spin. I'm guessing you've got one or two of those in your tank. Maradona spin. No, I think that'll be more you than me, What's to that? be fair. The, um, the Maradona the skill. Little turn around skill. You know, on the no. ball. Well, Maradona. Oh, you've done the Maradona. No well, idea. here's Maz Pacheco teaching us how to. Hi, I'm Maz Pacheco, and this is How To. The Maradona spin. Step one, dribble at pace. Step two, wait for the defender to make a move. Step three, place your leading foot on the ball at a 90 degree angle. Step four, rotate your body 360 degrees while transferring the ball from one foot to the other. Step five, drive away. Maradona spin, completed it. There you go, Kaz, now you know. You've learned a thing or two. <laughs> right, throughout the tournament here on Lionesses Daily, we're giving you the chance to win amazing prizes thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. Now, the next prize, this is so exciting. It is da -da, a signed match shirt from Ellen White. How cool Ooh. is that? Yeah, thank, thank you, girls. I appreciate that. So if you want to win that, which obviously you do, you just go to the link on the screen and answer a very simple question and see how you get on. We'll announce the winner ahead of the game against Argentina on Friday. Good luck. Can you do an Ellen celebration? Um, yeah. No, it's not what? that. It's not, uh, it's, yeah, it's I went for that initially, but it's not, is it? Yeah. Can do that. She's trying to complicate it from what KB does. KB yeah, that, does that, this weird thing. I don't know. Just it's do just that. this. It's it's just this. That's all it is. Kaz, you're learning a thing or two today, aren't you? <laughs> right. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Now we have our FIFA Women's World Cup France 2019 official sticker collection by Panini over here, and uh, we'd like you to sign your pictures in it. Oh, Kaz is. I in don't it, think you're you know. in it. Well, this is a special one, Kaz. So we have all 23 players. I was only joking, are you actually not in it? No. <laughs> well, you are now. So Yay. if you take that, I've got your stickers You know what, here. I wasn't in the, um, the first one, was it 2011? So I just had to keep signing the badge. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have to do that because you've got both my own one. in the book. Make sure you guys keep watching Lionesses Daily to find out how you could win this. You need a pen, don't you? Yeah. That, that would be good, wouldn't it? Can I just do this before the show ends? Because I feel like on Coronation Street, they pretend to have a drink. <laughs> nice tea. Is that nice? Nice mm, tea. Yum. There you go. I think I've just <laughs> ate a fly. <laughs> It's definitely a fly in there that. There are a lot round here. Where do we get her from? I think you did just down a fly. There Thanks. you go, Kat. Oh. Thanks. So yeah, if you stick them in, sign them. Right. Oh, there oh we'll this go. is this is going to be so fantastic when it's done. Right, we love our lionesses, but what does it mean to them to be a lioness? Here's Lucy Bronze. I'm Lucy Bronze, and I'm a lioness. For me, being a lioness means being part of a team. Um, being part of something bigger than the team, being part of something really special that I don't think you can really put into words. The characteristics of being a lioness on the pitch is ultimately working hard. That is the big main one. There's many other things, but you've got to be able to put a shift in for yourself and for everybody around. What I expect from my teammates on and off the pitch is respect. I think we make sure we respect each other and we respect our opposition and we respect wearing the badge each and every day. Yeah, I think the disappointment and happiness of getting a bronze medal last time leaves this squad, this team kind of hungry for more. I think we know that we want to make the final and we want that bronze to be a gold now. I think this is a fairy tale. If, uh, if we make the final in Lyon and I get a step out on my home pitch in front of home fans for me, you know, being where, where I live, where, where I am every single day, it would be an absolute dream, something that I've pictured every single day for the past two years.
Great stuff. Thank you so much for coming on the show, ladies. Thank you. I've loved it. A few cars. Yep, very good. It was a pleasure. Right, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow with Leah Williamson and Kira Walsh.